If you're following the Sheba Wealth Transfer, I think there's some key insights that you're missing that the Lord brought to my attention while praying. If you hold XRP, Luna Classic, or Sheba, I have some prophetic updates for those as well. Stick around. Let's do this. If you're new here, I want to first address the fact that when I heard about a wealth transfer, I was very skeptical, especially when I heard things like Sheba Inu, because my own impression of Sheba is that it's a pump and dump, it's a crap meme token, it's not even a native blockchain, it's a token built on top of a chain, so I had my healthy skepticism. But I brought it to the Lord in prayer and fasting, and he answered me multiple times on multiple occasions. He said to me that Sheba is anointed, and she will anoint the nations. So I do believe that this token is something that the Lord is going to use for his kingdom advancing. I also believe that the Lord has highlighted other coins like Luna Classic, XRP, and I have a few prophetic updates on those. But when I made my latest video and I spoke about how the Lord told me to put some of it on cold storage and I had to get out a letter, ledger nano and remember how to use it and transfer some cash there, well, transfer some Sheba there, there were a lot of questions and they were very sensible questions. Now I'm not addressing topics like how do you set up a Ledger Nano? You can watch a YouTube video for that. These were questions of like, if you have your Shiba on cold storage and the price skyrockets, or if there's a flash spike where it goes up to a dollar or $2, aren't you gonna miss out because your Shiba is on cold storage? You don't have previous sell limit orders set. Aren't you gonna miss out? And when the Lord showed me this answer, I felt like such an idiot because it's such an obvious answer, but I feel like it's something that's really important that a lot of people haven't connected the dots yet. And so that's what I want to talk about. I'm sure you've heard of the Dutch tulip bubble, where in Amsterdam, people would grow these tulip flowers and use them as currency. You could bake a fresh, warm loaf of bread, give it to somebody in exchange for a few of these flowers, and then you could take these tulip flowers and bring it to somebody else and exchange it for milk. Well, when people realized how easy it was to just grow tulips, within a year or two, there was this massive bubble where the value of a tulip completely fell. Rather than having three or four tulip flowers to buy milk, you needed like two or 300 or 400. What I'm discussing is the denominating factor, denomination being diluted. As the supply of these tulip flowers skyrocketed, their purchasing power almost evaporated. So why would I give you my fresh loaf of bread for something that has next to no value? Now, let's make that obvious connection to Shiba Inu token and other cryptocurrencies with the current denominating US dollar. If you genuinely believe that Shiba Inu is gonna go from 0 .000009, which is what it's at right now, five zeros in the nine, up to let's just say a dollar or two dollars or higher and i personally received from the lord something in the pennies but if you believe that it's going to shoot up that much what you are essentially betting on is the value of a dollar is going to plummet so low to the point where it has next to no purchasing value what you're basically saying is there's going to be so many dollars that it's easier for the price to get all the way up into the penny range compared to where it's currently at. So I think it's incredibly sensible to keep a significant amount of what you have on cold storage because to be honest, it's what people are gonna want in the future. They're not gonna want your dollars if there's a dollar dump. Is the denominating factor is gonna lose all of its value. And here's why. In the same way that tulips rose and fell, the US dollar, we've printed and made so many of it, we've multiplied by billions and trillions the amount of tulips out there, that it's losing its value. So if you have a new technology where the world is shifting into and moving into, let's just say it's digital assets like cryptocurrencies, Stellar Lumens, XRP, Luna Classic, who knows what the winners are really gonna be? Just like in the dot-com bubble, you had some early front runners like MSN and Yahoo, but later on you had Google, Microsoft, and Facebook. We probably don't know who the winners are at this moment, but a rising tide lifts all ships. So if you have this tidal wave of dollars that's gonna be moving in to this new industry, the denominating factor is the dollar, and it's honestly not as valuable as it once was. I believe this is one of the key reasons to keep your cryptocurrency stored on a cold wallet storage. Whether it's Shiba Inu, XRP, Luna Classic, Dogecoin, whatever coin you're interested in, I think that it makes a lot of sense to keep at least a third of it on cold storage. Now I do this, I have one third on exchanges, one third on my computer, and one third on cold storage. Let's talk about the stuff that's on exchanges. I do have sell limit orders set. 
By the way, this is not financial advice, and you should assume that I own a position in every coin that I talk about today. Sorry, I have to do that. I have some on exchanges, but here's the thing. If all of us have sell limit orders for Shiba Inu up to a dollar, and it all gets filled, think about the literally tens of billions of dollars that, that means is in retail consumer hands. That is what leads to runaway inflation. That's like Zimbabwe, where they used to have money, but they printed so much of it. So to purchase things, they would just weigh it. They would bring wheelbarrows full of paper, and based on the weight, it didn't even matter what the numbers were. You see the problem here in the economics. If there's this massive dollar dump, let's just say it comes from other countries or wherever, or some accident happens, and the price skyrockets, and miraculously Shiba Inu orders get filled at a dollar or two dollars. First of all, that's absolutely ludicrous. And even though the Lord has told me, I still feel like, what on earth? It's crazy. It's crazy in a good way. Sorry if I sound like I have a little doubt right here. I don't. I have complete faith and I know that the Lord has told me this is going to happen. But it's just pretty absurd when you actually think about it. Like, wow, this is a God thing. I believe the Lord and I have faith and I understand that we are probably in that era, the turning of uh, an adjustment in global currencies and denominating values of wealth. So, but let's just say all of our orders get filled. That's what makes a gallon of milk now become worth like $200, where it's currently at like three or $4. You might be able to sell your Shiba Inu for a dollar or $2 or 25 cents, and that might feel really great, but then you realize that, hey, you're just left holding the bag. You've got something that nobody wants anymore. You gave up your milk and your fresh loaf of bread for a bunch of tulips that doesn't have any value. So now let's discuss the reasons why you should have sell limit orders set. And this is where everyone needs to have their own independent individual strategy. You need to know why you're doing what you're doing. Because things like runaway inflation or the Zimbabwe dollar dump, they don't just happen immediately overnight. There's usually a season or a period of time in which you can move in and out of different asset classes, make different decisions if you need to cash out of crypto and perhaps upgrade your car so that you and your family can get around better, stuff like that. There is a time and a window for that. So here are some reasons why I will be selling some of my cryptocurrency, especially Shiba Inu. Number one is just to make sure that all of my basic needs are met. And number two is that I know that I'm called to bring the gospel to Africa. So I'm gonna need the resources to do that. And I understand that there's gonna be a window of time in which I can cash out. And while dollars still have value and the tulip craze hasn't kicked in yet, there will be that season where I can get in and out. For a season which I expect to be short-lived, we will have the time available to be able to purchase the resources that are needed for the work that we're called to do. This is why it's really important in this season to be preparing yourself and to understand what the Lord wants you to do so that when it's go time, you have the first mover advantage and you can get the resources while they're available and probably still at a more affordable price. But in the long run, I think that people are going to be switching out of our old currencies and into the new digital currencies, which is why I think it's important to have long term mindset and store some of your crypto on a hardware wallet. You need to know why you're doing what you're doing. Here's for me, why I plan on exiting Shiba especially. Number one, don't take offense at this. I'm just gonna be honest. I don't really think that Shiba Inu is a good technology. It's not a native blockchain coin, it's a token. I think that it's gonna be used powerfully for a season and I might be very wrong. This might become the new international standard, which is why I'm still gonna hold a good position. But if I do think that it's genuinely just gonna be used as a tool to transfer wealth for a season, I would much rather sell on the way up and then move those US dollars, those tulips, into something else that I think has a little bit more longevity or a better purpose, whether that's XRP, Stellar, or some other cryptocurrency that the Lord shares with me. Or let's suppose Shiba pumps, and I still think that it has value in the future, but I also know that the Lord has shared with me other cryptocurrencies that are gonna do really well, whether it's XRP or Luna Classic. And if those haven't pumped yet, well, I'd rather take some of the gains on the way up and move it into something else and then ride that wave as well. But here's the thing, at the end of the day, you're not trying to catch these waves and then exit into US dollars if you genuinely think the dollar is done. I do, I could be completely wrong and this video could make me a fool. But just my own personal conviction, now let's just say this is me, not the Lord. By the way, I'm just trying to give you my own advice, wisdom, insight, and understanding. At the end of the day, you should seek the Lord, you should ask the Holy Spirit to show you. He wants to be involved in your lives. If you trust in the Lord with all your heart, lean not on your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him. He will direct your paths. And so I would just say, whatever I say, take it to the Lord and go to him first for your direction. He could show you where I'm right or where I'm wrong. He could build on some of the things that I've said, or he could show you something that he hasn't shown anyone else yet. 
My own personal conviction is I do think that there's going to be a big movement from one archaic system, the ACH banking system, the US dollar system, into this new better means of storing and transferring value of cryptocurrency. So I don't know who the winner is going to be ultimately in the end. And all that I do know is that if this is the case, I don't want to be stuck holding the bag of US dollars. I want to be positioned in what I think is going to be kingdom value, real storage of wealth. Ideally, if there's something that's metals backed, which is what sound money is, it's paper that can actually be brought to a bank and you receive gold in exchange. If we have a cryptocurrency that comes out that's going to be backed by precious metals, that I do think is the ultimate play in the long run. But the most important thing that I can share with you is to lay up treasures in heaven. I asked the Lord the other night, what time is it? I know that we're in the 11th hour, but what does that look like? And I saw an image of a sun setting over the horizon of an ocean, and it was already halfway set. Now, the time is short, and there is work to be done. There are people that need deliverance. The gospel needs to go throughout the entire world. So do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth. Don't go out and buy nice boats and jets and mansions and all that crap. I get with abundance comes an elevated style of life, a quality of life that increases. I understand that. But understand that you are not called to be rich on this earth. You are called to be rich in the kingdom and to lay up treasures there first and foremost. I hope I'm making sense. <clears throat> now, I have some other insights to cryptocurrency things, but I'm going to make them in another video. So please subscribe, turn on your notifications, like and comment on this so that when it comes out, YouTube knows to put my videos out before you. Lord, I ask that you would give us wisdom and insight, keen understanding. Help us to see the times and the seasons. You said that that was a key factor of the wise men in Daniel's era, is that they understood the times. So I pray that everyone here would have an increased understanding in the times that we are living in. Father, I ask that your kingdom would advance in everything that we do. I ask that we would put you first and foremost with every decision and every thought that we have. I pray, God, that if we're about to do a trade or invest in something that's not of you, God, that you would, you know, correct us in that moment. But Lord, ultimately, I pray that you would be our partners and that we would partner with you because I know that you are eager to work with us on this earth. We love you. We praise you. We give you all the glory, Jesus. Yours is the kingdom and you're awesome.